Welcome back to the lecture series of Python programming. Uh, in this video, I'm going to discuss the passing package for the subject Python programming. Also, this video is suitable for all the university where people are studying the basics of uh, Python programming. So let's understand how to clear the Python subject, how to prepare, how to crack, also how to score very good marks in Python programming subject. So in the first module, so normally in the, all the universities, you can see the Python basics and a flow control statement as well as function. So what is your focus? You have to study what is if statement, what is else statement, then if else statement. Uh, these are the conditional statement. Then you have to study the loop like a for loop and while loop. Apart from that, you have to study the loop control statement such as break and continue. Uh, then uh, you need to study how to import the module. You can use the keyword called import because we need to import some module. For example, import math. Math module will be imported. If I want to use the application uh, like a, uh, directly you can uh, use the particular module for example uh, math.sqrt right so then how to like what is the use of def def is nothing but to define the user defined function suppose i want to create a new function called a subtraction so you can use the keyword called a def followed by a subtraction okay that means subtraction act as a user defined function then return statement so you go through these fundamentals with the suitable examples there are probable questions like uh, explain the loop control statement, how to create a new function, use the defined function, how to import a module, try to write the examples. That is very, very important. Then uh, like uh, study the program like a Fibonacci series. So how to develop the Fibonacci series using while loop. Okay. Then binomial coefficient. These are the 100% guaranteed question for every type of university examination. What do you mean by assertion? What is the exception handling? Okay. So what is the difference between a built-in function and user-defined function? Then I forgot one more thing. You have to study about uh, global, global scope, global scope and local scope local scope this is an unavoidable topic which i unfortunately i missed so uh, you people kindly remember this one global and a local scope because you might have studied the function then definitely you should understand the global and a local scope a apart from that you have to study about the uh, global statement what is the meaning of a global statement okay so kindly take care of this uh, whenever you are writing a uh, theory portion, I request you to add the program snippet because since it's a programming language, so you should try to identify the program snippet. So that is most important thing. Uh, kindly don't forget because every examination people will see the program snippet. In the second, first module is purely based on the uh, fundamentals. Moving on to the second module, you need to focus on the three type of data type. One is uh, list, other one is tuple, Third one is dictionaries. Uh, basically, you have to study the definition. What is the meaning of list? What is tuple? Or what is dictionary? Then you need to study list method, tuple method, uh, dictionary methods. Okay. Uh, one of the most important methods are append method, index method, get method, set default method. These are the repeated uh, like uh, methods which usually comes in the examination. So like uh, regarding the coding, what you can do is study the program, how to develop mean, variance, and standard deviation of a set of numbers. Then, for how like uh, there is a dictionary or there is a list. How many number of times a particular, uh, for example, dictionary, a particular item or particular uh, key, for example, particular key or value, how many number of times the key is repeating? How many number of times the value is repeating? You can understand, uh, you can develop a simple code. Study, write the algorithm first, try to develop the code. Usually code has the weightage of 10 marks. Assume 10 marks is the weightage in that uh, you had uh, three to four marks for algorithm. Uh, then another four marks for the four program development, two marks for the inference. That will be the distribution for the key. Uh, practice one dimensional and nested list using copy dot keep, uh, keep uh, deep copy. What is the meaning of copy dot uh, deep copy? It is like basically nested dictionary. Dictionary within the dictionary is known as nested dictionary. So uh, try to study the methods, try to study the definition of basic data type, try to write the examples. Uh, however, you can manage, uh, somehow you can manage this particular module too. Uh, I, you can target out of uh, 18 out of 20 uh, from module two. In the module three, you need to focus mainly on the string and the file handling. So study the string method like a split, join, uh, then uh, strip, 
then is x method that's also very important is x method is x method you can uh, refer so apart from that you have to study what is the meaning of o o os module what is os path module uh, how does shell module operate example of shell module then uh, what is the meaning of reading writing uh, then absolute path and relative path i have seen so many questions about absolute and relative path kindly study absolute and relative path that is very very important uh, then uh, read a file and uh, how uh, the how many number of times the word is repeating so frequency okay that is also very important program then multi clipboard program it is a development level sometimes uh, you may get in the examination i'm not sure about that because if you are going for like interview and all uh, this particular topic is very important uh, then always show file open read write then uh, save the marks okay every time that's a simple tip i would like to show the path you have to mention right so these are the important questions from module 3. Okay, study all the methods from the st string. What is the meaning of string replication? What is string concatenation? Those topics also please remember. How? What is a string concatenation? What is string multiplication or string re replication? Same topic will come in the first module also. But in the third module, you are going to study in depth about the string. I hope you understood and you can manage the particular portions. Whatever I have explained, you please go through it before appearing for the examination because these are the important topics which I observed from the previous year question paper. Module number four is uh, mainly dealing with the file organization and debugging. So you have to focus about one topic called what is a shuttle module. Uh, whenever you are explaining a shuttle module, write a simple program. Uh, then what is the meaning of zip file? Importance of zipping. What is the meaning of zipping? What is the meaning of assertion statement? You have to study about the different levels of logging. What is the meaning of logging and what is the level, different uh, levels of logging? Then I request you to follow os.walk. What is the meaning of os.walk? That movement you have to explain. Then regarding the code, how to back up a folder into zip file. That is very, very important. You may get a question in the practical examination as well. Then how to rename a file, write the programming. So quick tip, uh, tip is use try except blocks in all file operation for the safety purpose because these are the uh, exception handling statements. Uh, you may get a question like what is the meaning of debugging? What are the different levels of debugging? Then what is the exception handling? What is the assertion statement? So, so such kind of questions are most repeated question. I feel that most of the time um, theory portions will be more in the case of module number four. Also, whenever you're writing theory, request you to write the program snippet. Don't forget that. Module 5 is uh, mainly with the object oriented programming. You should know the difference between class and object. Define class, define object, how to declare the class, how to define the object. Everything uh, are the fundamental questions. Apart from that, you should understand uh, the init method. What is the meaning of init method? What is the meaning of str method? What is operator overloading? For example, uh, the plus. Plus, the, plus is an uh, operator. So you can add, for example, uh, integer number. Adding the integer number, I am using the plus. Adding the string, I'll be using the plus. So I am uh, like use the plus for different uh, operation. That's what that's what plus is getting overloaded. That is called operator overloading. Then you should understand about the polymorphism. What is the meaning of polymorphism? Okay. What is the meaning of inheritance? What is encapsulation? These are the most commonly as well as most repeated uh, like uh, questions which every uh, like uh, Python examination or every Python viva. These kind of questions are sure short questions. Then study the complex number class, add the n number. Similarly, re the rectangle block. So how to calculate the area by using the class and object concept. Then student class marks total percentage. That is also one of the most important programming example. Uh, use diagram to explain the class and object relationship. Apart from that, you have to write more examples also. That is very, very important. For example, Ganesha. Uh, like uh, from Ganesha is actually uh, uh, obtaining from the Ganesha e doll. That mold, the shape is known as class. Whatever the Ganesha object is coming, that is called the object. I, I hope you understood. So likewise, you try to uh, elaborate your answer. Uh, these are the simple, uh, like, and uh, quick revision session, I can say. So these are the unavoidable topic. Okay, don't, uh, don't ignore these uh, important topics, which I am going to mention. Now, I would like to talk about, like, uh, flashcards. Uh, for example, what is lambda function? So short, you make the, write the shortcut. What is the meaning of assert? Okay, importance of assertion. Difference between list and tuple. So list is mutable where tuple is immutable. What is the meaning of os.path.join? So importance of os. Similarly, there are different functions available. Uh, similarly, you have to study about what is the meaning of str method. What is init method? Okay, so str. Return string representation of the object. The uh, things will, the object will be uh, like uh, 
printed in a better presentable form and a readable form correct write an examples also uh, these are the most repeated program uh, for the university questions so kindly don't uh, like ignore this information fibonacci series factorial calculation binomial coefficient uh, then uh, uh, exception handling then list operation for example calculation of mean standard deviation variance uh, the frequency of digits in a string file sorting and writing a new file back up the folder into zip format class for the complex number and a class for the rectangle rectangle class program then student class with the marks percentage multi clipboard program i am not sure about the multi clipboard program but uh, however it can ask in the viva viva boss examination it depends viva similarly pre practical preparation uh, like uh, study about like uh, init method uh, then uh, file handling uh, then uh, frequency uh, like uh, uh, oops concept so uh, the, the for example for student marks you are using the init method then file handling you are using the open and uh, read method frequency like a count 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 function count method you are going to use you are going to use the for loop then uh, ob like uh, for object oriented programming for complex numbers you are using the class and or complex class and object you are going to use and you are going to create a new method called add method so using the uh, user defined function you are going to create a new method okay uh, likewise you uh, start preparing also like if you have one week of time first module cover with one day second module also you can cover with the second day third day you will be focusing on module three fourth day you are going to focus module four fifth day you are going to focus on the oop concept in the sixth day you are going to practice all the programs seventh day you are trying to solve the model paper and try to prepare the viva tips so then uh, your python subject will be ultimate definitely i can guarantee you 80 plus nobody can stop you you prepare well uh, so if you are watching our channel i request you to subscribe also if you please this video if you happy with this video i request you to share with the stakeholders and uh, kindly give your valuable comments for the betterment let me do my best also request you to share the same video with the students those who are preparing for python examination i wish you all the very best for your examination work hard definitely you can achieve your target also if you prepare well you can clear your interview as well thank you so much for watching this video happy learning have a great day thank you